Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do an organic balloon garland using an Amazon kit. And as you can tell, it came out pretty dope. So if you would like to learn how to do it, I use some different techniques and I give you the pros and cons of it all. Please keep watching. This kit was definitely my favorite using um, this organic balloon garland. It was easy to construct. There are a few cons when it came to purchasing this, so use your better judgment as we go throughout the video. So guys, I actually like these balloons. I don't know what kind of balloons they are, but they seem like they're pretty decent. Um, they are a little more flexible. Like I like when balloons have a lot of elasticity. And you want to make sure that your balloons are circular shape. You don't want... This is usually what I see. Although it looks pretty round, this one is actually more round, if we can get a picture of that. So there's still a slight difference with this one, but you wanna make sure your balloons are round. And by doing so, you wanna make sure you're pressing down and slowly releasing that air and it creates that round shape, beautiful. So I opened up the second pack that's in the kit and has the smaller balloons, but I didn't realize it had gray balloons as well. But there weren't enough gray ones as there were the other colors. So that wasn't something I liked about this kit. So I just wanted to show you guys there is a difference with the smaller balloons which i don't particularly like and i don't know if you guys can see but this balloon is way darker than this balloon so that's the only downfall i don't like this but i think it will give it some variation of shade of color difference so we'll see how this definitely turns out but this is a, um, a con so far when it comes to the kids i just wanted to keep you guys aware of that So with this Amazon kit, there were four balloons that were foil, which were like the animals that go on the balloon garland. And I absolutely loved it, but like I've told you in previous videos, I don't like to use my balloon machines, so I ended up using a balloon pump. Now I'm going to let you know right now, your arms are going to hurt. So if you trust yourself with the balloon machine, by all means go ahead. I didn't have a lot of these, so I didn't want to take the chance of them popping. So I always use a balloon pump in order to do it. You just got to work those arms. So just know you'll get strong by the end of this. With this organic balloon garland, I am trying a different method. So what I ended up doing was making quads out of the balloons um, and then putting clusters together with the fishing line. Now, I'm going to tell you ahead of time, I had a pretty hard time with it and I'm going to explain why in a second. Thank you. 
With this organic balloon garland, I decided to use the smaller balloons within the garland as I was um, setting it up. Instead of using the 260 balloons that I've done in previous videos that I will link down below. However, this particular method or way, it wasn't my favorite because one, if you notice, even in the orange balloons, the smaller balloons are hidden within it. And I didn't really like that. I like the smaller balloons to be facing towards people when they're at the events. So you see, I'm trying to like fix them so that way they show up. But this wasn't my favorite method, but it is something that you can do if you don't have 260 balloons. Now with this video, I didn't record myself taking the string and tying it on the balloons, but I do use the command hooks. I will link the pink and gray balloon garland. I believe that's the video I show you guys. If not, it will be linked down below in the description box. So that way you can see how I tie the balloons to the actual wall. Don't click out this video, make sure you watch it to the end. I actually gave away another kit to a designer who follows me on Instagram. I was just giving them back and she did a really good job of giving honest feedback. Um, speaking of honest feedback, I didn't really particularly like the glue dots because they didn't really stick with the foil balloons, but it's not a deal breaker for me. There was just something that I noticed about this particular kit. Hi, my name is Melissa Dunlap from Alicia's Balloon and Design Studio here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. I'm here to give a review on a balloon garland kit that I had the opportunity to use um, this weekend. Um, I would like to say that this balloon garland kit is absolutely amazing. I really love the quality and the texture of the balloons. The balloons were soft and they were flexible, but at the same time, I wasn't concerned about them popping or anything like that. Um, I would absolutely use this balloon garland again, and I will also recommend this balloon garland to any other balloon designer out there. Thank you for this opportunity, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you, and goodbye. Design, pop, pop that confetti, pop, 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 pop that confetti, pop, pop. That's about to be our theme song. Uh, pop, pop, pop that confetti. <laughs>